In Memoriam by Marion Longfellow Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia In Memoriam M. J. E. Obit, June 19th, 1874 Who shall separate that spirit from the blessed love of Christ? He hath called her to himself, for whom the world hath not sufficed. Pure her spirit upward winging, now its swift untrammelled way, far beyond our aching vision enters that serener day patient pure she took the burden of this life unto his feet he who hath called his love and bid them come unto his presence sweet all she leaveth gladly answering her beloved master's call and for her the shadowy valley had no terror to appall passed unto a life all glorious now a ransomed soul she bides ended all the weary watching crossed for aye life's troubled tides so we leave her now possessing to the full christ's own sweet love and one more of life's best treasures lives and waits for us above end of poem this recording is in the public domain Consolation by Marian Longfellow, read for LibriVox.org by Christina. Into Light, December fourth, nineteen o three, four fifty a.m. It is all right, yes, friend. It is all right. Although about thee close the shades of night to human eyes, to eyes that wake to lie, it is all right. It is all right. It is all right. Even though we miss thee here. For thee are past the clouds, and all the fear, bred of this life, which shall no more appear, to thee as good, because thy sky is clear. It is all right, kind soul, so bright and true, we miss thee now, we miss the happy view, of all that through the days of life here grew. The old hath passed, for thee hath dawned the new. It is all right, thy words as fell the night, before thine eyes had pierced the coming light, Fall on our ears a benison all bright, We can but say with thee, It is all right. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of contrasted songs by Marian Longfellow.